What does it take to install an elevator in a subway station? To get on a train at one of our 493 subway stations, you usually have to go down into an underground station or up to an elevated one. At almost all of our stations, this means stairs. Sometimes a lot of them. Because while almost 25% of our stations have elevators, most unfortunately don't. That's because our system is old. New York was one of the first cities in the world to have a subway. Our first stations opened in 1904, and most of the stations we have today were built before 1940. Only a handful of our stations were built after the 1990 Americans with Disabilities Act, which requires elevators in transit stations. The good news is that many stations have elevators currently under construction, and many more are coming as part of the fast forward plan to modernize New York City transit. Our goal is in that five years, no one will be more than two stops away from an accessible station. Because the subway is for all New Yorkers. You're probably asking yourself, why does it take so long to build elevators? Isn't New York City full of them? Good questions. According to the City Department of Buildings, there's 63,000 passenger elevators in the five boroughs. That's a lot of elevators. But the way elevators are built in new buildings is very different from how they are installed in existing subway stations. New buildings, the elevator shafts, usually form the core of the building. In other words, the building is literally built around the elevator. But adding an elevator to an 80-year-old subway station is a completely different matter. There's three main challenges in adding elevators to a subway station, which we'll call the three S's, space, subsurface, and structure. The first challenge is finding space in and around the station where shafts can be built. This is a huge challenge in a dense city where buildings are so close together, our subway stations sometimes have buildings right up against them and often even on top of them. We also usually have to build more than one elevator per station, one that takes people from the street to the mezzanine, and then more to get to the platforms. This means having to find space on the street and in the station to fit numerous elevators. And the best places for the elevator to go might not be the sidewalk, it could be in the middle of a roadway or on a property that the MTA doesn't own. Or it could be in a place where the neighborhood doesn't want a structure built. All of this adds cost, complexity, and time to sort things out with everyone involved. The second challenge is subsurface conditions. What lies beneath? Remember that our first station opened in 1904. Well, the city has grown a lot since then, and so has the invisible infrastructure beneath the sidewalks and streets. To build an elevator from the street to the station, Things like electrical lines, sewage pipes, and water systems have to be diverted around the shaft. And that's just accounting for what's on the utility map. New York has hundreds of years of unmapped infrastructure underground, some of which is still in use. It takes a lot of research and planning to properly place an elevator shaft. And even then, there are always surprises once the excavation begins. The third challenge is structure. More specifically, adding elevators and supporting equipment to a station in a way that doesn't compromise safety or convenience. When we build an elevator, we also have to build walkways, mechanical rooms, and other supporting structures to integrate it into the station. In most cases, we have to do all of this while the station is in operation 24-7. Along with the challenges of space and subsurface, this makes for a very complicated puzzle to solve every time we want to install elevators. Building elevators is hard, and it's traditionally taken a long time and a lot of money. With the fast forward plan, we're exploring every option to get them built faster and for less money, so that we can build even more. We're also looking at other ways to make stations accessible, including ramps, because the subway is for all New Yorkers. Thanks for your patience as we tackle one of the toughest jobs in improving our transit system. We're absolutely committed to getting it done.